The Republican, Independent and Democrat gubernatorial teams voted early this week, making room for a final push in their battle for the executive seat. The only unfortunate thing today is when I walked in, I can only vote on Precinct 5 Republican and the island-wide Republican. I wish I could have voted all the Republican in every precinct. Governor Torres and Senator Vinnie Sablon voted early on Thursday. House Democrats Tina Sablon and Layla Staffler, the first female gubernatorial candidates in the island's history, voted on Friday, which is Citizenship Day in the NMI. We're hopeful that people are ready for the change that we are ready to deliver. Independent candidates Lieutenant Governor Arno Palacios and Saipan Mayor David Apatang voted with their families alongside them on Friday. It's been a long year. Uh, finish line is at, in sight, and so we're going to give it all we got. But that finish line could be pushed back. If no team gets more than half the votes, then there's a runoff election two weeks after the results are certified between the top two vote getters. We're putting together our plans uh, for the eventual eventuality of uh, if there is indeed a runoff. We're ready for a runoff if there is one. Uh, but of course, I think like the other candidates, we're probably all hoping that there will be a landslide. <laughs> Tomas Maglonia for KUAM News on Saipan.